review for you. And that book review is La Captivate. Um, I, gosh, I hope the glare isn't too bad, guys. Let me turn this off. Maybe that'll help. But um, this is the second book in the Need series by Carrie Jones, and this book was really good as well. Um, not as good as Need, but it was still very good. I enjoyed it very much. And um, this will probably contain spoilers, so if you haven't read Need or this book, then I suggest that you might not want to watch this. I don't know. So Need left off with the pixies being trapped in the castle house kind of thing. And um, this book, I think, is more about the relationships both with uh, Nick and Zara, and as well as Zara and her father and her mother and her grandma, and um, the non sexual like physical relationships and um it was still very good i love De devin and izzy and a new character called cassidy um and nick i love all of them and um this is about a pixie that zara saves and his name is astler i think i can't remember i'm pretty sure i read this last night and, um, I'm just re reviewing it now, because, you know, yeah, Astley. And Astley, um, I don't know, I think I might be on Team Astley. I don't know. The twists and turns in this book are excellent. Um, very much enjoyed this book. Um, I still, I cannot wait for the third one to come out. And, um, definitely, definitely a favorite series of mine so far. And, um, I know I'm going to love the third book as well. Because, gosh, they ended on such a... Um, that's one thing. I didn't really care about the ending. I didn't like it that much. Um, but, you know, you can't have it all. And I will definitely take a crappy ending for the... For an excellent beginning and middle. So, um... Definitely get your hands on this one if you haven't read Need yet. Obviously, read Need first, but definitely get this one after. And um, definitely awesome. Definitely great. I say definitely a lot, but I don't care because it's definitely, definitely a good book. So get this one if you can. Um, man, there's something I was going to say about this book. Now I totally just lost my train of thought. Mm. Um, oh my god this sucks. They're writing like a how to avoid or how to win the battle against pixies, pixies so they're not um, phobias but they're like little tips about how to um, you know stay away from pixies and stuff and this book is 273 pages and it is 309 I think so this one is shorter um, still very good and the characters are more developed in this book they seem older, even though they're not. It's only been like a month since the first book in the storyline. But um, they seem older, more mature. Um, you learn more about the little town. Um, you kind of um, just get an idea about Zara's life and um, things like that. You get more backstory in this one. And there's a couple new characters that are really cool. Um, there's a couple new, like, elements to it, so definitely read it. It's very good. I really enjoy the world that, um, Carrie Jones has produced in this, um, series. So, definitely, definitely good. Highly, highly recommend it. Um, four out of five. So, not as good as need, but still definitely worth the read. So, there's that and I hope you enjoyed that review. I hope it answered some of your questions. And um, the book I'm currently reading is The Ghosts of Kurtal, I think how you pronounce it. And actually, really, I'm enjoying it. I have read like three pages. <laughs> no, I read 13 pages so far, but I really, really like it. So it's very, very, very good. But um, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, I'll have it done by tonight or tomorrow. I'll have tomorrow off of work. So, um, I'll hopefully have a review of this tomorrow for you guys. We'll see. So, that's all I have for you. I hope you guys are having an awesome Monday. And, um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm watching, uh, I Shouldn't Be Alive. And, oh my god, the stories are creeping me out. Like, if you've, if you've ever watched this, you, like, never want to leave your house. 
Like there are too many random things that can happen. Just like that 1,000 ways to die, it makes you just want to like curl up in a corner and into the fetal position and just never leave. Thank you so much to all my subscribers and everybody who's been so supportive. You guys are awesome. And the um, job's going good. Uh, I had a little bit of a meltdown last week and wanted to quit, but can't quit. You know, I've got to be a grown-up. So, um, yeah, have a great Monday, you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.